Hi, this is uh, my video of um, my John Deere LA165 tractor, a couple of seasons old. Um, pretty much a garage queen. Uh, has, uh, I guess, a, a spoiled life living in a climate controlled garage, regular maintenance, and uh, despite being treated uh, probably better than uh, was ever intended to treat a lawn tractor. Um, I'm horrified at the uh, way John Deere must have cut corners in preparing the uh, surfaces um, of this uh, tractor for a powder coat. As you uh, most likely can see, I've taken the floorboards off of the tractor as uh, I'm doing the end of season maintenance. Um, had noticed some of the powder coating bubbling and to my uh, horrific surprise, um, after taking a vacuum, not even a scraper, a vacuum, I've pretty much vacuumed all of the powder coat completely off this tractor. Uh, the telltale signs are a little bit of bubbling. Uh, you take the vacuum cleaner, go to the bubble, and pretty much you can maybe see what happens. The powder coat just flakes right off. Um, it's quite nice of John Deere to make it so easy for us to vacuum up our tractors but um, honestly I bought this tractor brand new, I've used it for a couple of seasons, has less than 60 hours on it and now um, it looks like I'm in for a heck of a job uh, to repair this cancerous mess. Um, if John Deere wants to claim that uh, this is, uh, this is uh, somehow the consumer's uh, fault I like to show them the deck and the wheels, uh, which were obviously done by either another supplier or by another department, and uh, they're perfect. Uh, the, the mower deck goes through the absolute worst service possible, um, uh, just by fact of what it does, and it's absolutely doesn't have a spot on it, doesn't have a chip, doesn't. It's beautiful, as are the the wheels and the rest of the, the machine. But uh, if you look anywhere, there was a intersection of of uh, an edge or a hole uh, this uh, powder coat is lifting. I didn't have the heart to to take off these yet but it's bubbling under there as well and uh, I guess I'll have to take those off next but it just doesn't end. It's a cancer, it's everywhere and uh, it's gonna be a huge job. I bought this tractor as an upgrade to a basic 12 and a half horsepower tractor I had for 15 years that I didn't have a spot of rust on it because I took care of it and um, as I did with this tractor I'm horrified to see what's going on here this absolutely should be a recall John Deere should have made this right if you go look on the uh, do a little search on the internet uh, as I just did because I was was frustrated everybody's complaining about this this is obviously a uh, manufacturing defect cutting corners on the part of John Deere and uh, they should make it right because uh, I'm frustrated after uh, only owning this for a brief time having purchased it new obviously it's off of warranty just now and uh, this is uh, what I'm facing probably end up having to strip the whole deck off uh, to uh, to make this right um, anyways hopefully uh, you'll uh, Maybe consider twice buying a John Deere tractor, or if you own one, maybe uh, we can rally together and uh, start a website of uh, why you shouldn't buy a John Deere uh, uh, tractor, or uh, maybe we'll call it the John Deere Quality Review. Anyways, thanks for watching my video.